Well, the elections are over, finally. And here in the United States, we're kind of picking up the pieces. People are having problems both sides of the fence, and it's time to make God great again. Coming up next on Pastor Bob Daly. Make God great again. You know, we've uh, heard campaign slogans for so long. And folks, this whole thing has been, gosh, just almost a nightmare to me because I've just watched people take their focus off of God and put it on politics, on agenda, on all kinds of things. And folks, as Christians, I think we've gotten off the track, at least here in the United States. And, you know, I'm real excited for this to be over because spiritually we need a boost. And instead of make America great again, I think the most important thing that we have to do is to realize that we can't do anything without God. Whoever gets in office anywhere in the world, God is greater. He is in control. And we know that the most important thing we can do is put our eyes on him instead of on people and politics. And folks, it really is time to make God great again. You know, post-election blues today for a lot of people. Post-election excitement and exuberance for other people. But um, as I go through uh, Facebook and Twitter and I look at the social media today, people are really, really being jerks. I don't know how a better word for it. They really are. Those people that um, voted on the winning side are talking about how they knew all along this is what we needed, and they're kind of throwing it in everybody's face and, see, I told you so, and all of that, which nobody wants to hear, by the way. You know. On the other side, people are saying, you know, this is the worst person that could have gotten in the office, and you know, we're doomed and, you know, and you see both sides just kind of doing this. I think the most important thing, folks, is that we leave this behind. You know, this election year, anytime. When things get more important than friendships, than family, when we begin to kind of devastate each other and gloat, then we have a bigger problem. And uh, I have started this morning to clean up all my Facebook pages. I have eight of them. And uh, because there's a 5,000 friend limit on Facebook, so I have to keep doing new pages. Because um, on a, a like page, you can't see people's information. And I don't want to do a, a fan page. I'm not a rock star. I want to be involved with people and so I have to do the regular pages to be involved with people and see their information. So I have eight pages, and I uh, started this morning systematically um, taking down all the stuff that people are posting, and I've done that through the whole election, you may have noticed, um, just because I don't want to get involved with this. I have very strong feelings about the election, who I voted for, and I haven't told you who I voted for. I'm not going to. Um because it isn't the important thing. My mission is to make God great again. My mission now is to help to clean up this mess uh, that has that that we've that we've made by putting our focus somewhere else instead of God, and honestly to make God great again. Folks, here's my challenge for you today. I want you to open up your heart to people around you. Maybe people that didn't vote the same way that you did. Maybe people that you feel like in your heart you could say, I told you so, and don't. Change the subject. Don't gloat. Don't fight. Don't argue. Don't be mad at each other. Don't block each other on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. You know, don't play these games anymore. Realize, folks, that there is a greater mission. 
and that mission is to take the good news of Jesus Christ internationally and for people to be set free. And don't take your eyes off the prize. Make God great again. God bless you. Have a great day. Thank you.